and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Looks number 22, Victoria. Let's take a closer look. This is the box for Barbie Looks number 22, Victoria. So let's take a closer look, of course, at our doll. This is a really different look for Victoria, but I do want to take a look at the box, of course. And as you can see here, it says model number 22, which I love that it says that because if you're storing your doll and you don't want to remove them from the box, then you can see that on the side and it's easy to identify without having to take the stacks down. And of course, we've got the looks side there. Also on the back, you can see we have all of the dolls that are in this collection and I am reviewing all of them. And the one that we are looking at right here is Victoria. Can I get that in on there? There we go. So let's see if she actually looks like she does on the box. Let's see if I can get this open. So I'm gonna see if I can open it from the bottom, pull this tab out. And I'm trying not to tear the back of the box. And let's see if I can just get her pulled out easily. I hope that I can. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I can't. Now I'm excited. Let's take a close look at that face. All right, there we go. This is a really different look for Victoria. Now it looks like maybe one of her eyes is a little bit bigger than the other, but I don't think it's actually that bad. I do like what I'm seeing with her hair, but it's not quite what it looked like in the promo picture. Let's take a look at her outfits. Looking kind of cute there, a little cheap, but still kind of cute. And let's see the shoes. And I do want to see these shoes. Whoa, these shoes are actually really very cute. I think we've seen these before, but maybe not in this kind of shiny silver. I am liking. So what I am going to do is I'm going to remove this doll from the liner so that we can take a closer look at her and her outfit. This is a close-up of Barbie Looks number 22, Victoria. And of course, this is the Victoria head sculpt and it's a very different look we haven't seen number one her in the skin tone and secondly just the whole look overall is very different and i am loving it i was actually kind of on the fence about this doll and i am glad that i took a chance let's go in on that screening and she is very pretty it looks like i may need to just kind of wipe her face just a little bit but still very very pretty and you can see her short auburn hair that's the color that they describe it as really cute and very actually pretty neat for a short haircut as you know sometimes the short ones can be a hot mess but this one actually looks pretty good not like it does in the photo on the box but still very very cute so i'm actually going to pull back so that we can see some more detail about this doll. Now, of course, she does have the made-to-move body, but this is the petite made-to-move body, which means it is shorter in stature, but just as fabulous. And you can see it has all of the articulations. They're very cool. I do want to see the shoes here. Ooh, look at these. I am loving that. Let's take a closer look at the jumpsuit. I want to see what's a doing back here. And of course, we have the Velcro opening and closing, which I kind of expected with this doll. Let's welcome our panel. First, we have Barbie Looks Wave 1, Victoria. Next, we have Barbie Looks Wave 3, Victoria. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. So before we speak to our panel, let's do a 360 of Barbie Looks number 22, Victoria. So one of the first things I want to mention is this, this doll does come with the display stand that you see here. So I love that. Thank you, Mattel. And of course, I'm going to want to go in on that face. Let's do it and you can see of course that really cute pixie cut 
and of course that really beautiful screening on that gorgeous skin tone. I'm really liking this. This is a very different look for this doll and I am all in for it. You can see the auburn hair, how it's cut. It doesn't look like it does in the photos, but it's actually still very pretty. And look at how her screening is. This is really very, very beautiful. I'm gonna go down so that you can see the, I guess they call it sequin. It doesn't, it looks more like a, I don't know, sequin material type of halter jumpsuit. You can see it's actually still very pretty. And what I love about it, number one, I love the contrast against her skin tone, but I also love how it's such a feminine look with kind of a more kind of a semi masculine looking doll just because, you know, the face palette and the hair. Look at these shoes. Super cute. Love, love, love these shoes a lot. And of course, I love the made to move body. I'm just going to go up so you can see. Very cute. I'm loving the skin tone on her. And of course, we want to see that face. And not a bad job on her hair, but let's see her face. Really very, very pretty. I'm very, you know, I didn't know what I was going to get, but so glad that I took a chance and got her. And that is the 360 of Barbie Looks number 22, Victoria. Wave one, Victoria, you have a note for us, and you say, I have such a versatile head sculpt. <laughs> and wave three, Victoria, you have a note for us, and you say, I look striking, both tall and petite. <laughs> and Alyssa, you have a note for us, and you say, He's kind of shorter than I prefer, but maybe with a mustache and different outfit? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she <laughs> Um, Alyssa, that's a, uh, hmm. All right, well, uh, thank you, panel. So Barbie looks number 22, Victoria, is a win, in my opinion. She's really an unexpected beauty. I was not sure what I was going to get when I got her. And although the she does her hair doesn't quite fit the prototype photos, I actually still like this doll a lot. I love the skin tone. It's really an unexpected uh, impression I, that I got on this. And so I'm really glad that I decided to get this doll. Although I do like this outfit on her, this is probably a doll I cannot wait to redress. I actually see a lot of redress possibilities. Whether or not I'll keep her on the petite body, I'm not sure, but for now, I'm gonna try to rock it. So anyway, I like this doll. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, today's the day. There's a little button somewhere down there. You'll press that and then you'll get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a great day.